And all right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. Have not made a video in a little bit of time, guys, meaning like four or five days. Not a big deal. Been running it up on YouTube Shorts, Reels, TikTok. You guys know the flex, but I have not forgotten about you. We got a fresh fade in this bitch. Let's go, guys. Back to long-form videos. Sit back. Get ready. Let's go. Anyways, guys, with that said, hopefully you're all having an amazing day. Comment below where are you from, what time is it, hashtag self-developed army, and uh, I'll see you in the video. So, with that said, guys, I believe this was the first, <laughs> uh, kind of cool. I believe this was the first video that had a different thumbnail, one where I was not posing like this, or like this, or like this. <laughs> uh, guys, I got a thumbnail editor who just reached out a couple days ago. He sent me some of his work, and I liked it, and I was like, you know what, buddy? If you can keep it going like this, I'll bring you on full time. So his name is Rodrigo. I think he's in Peru or something like that. Shoutouts to you, buddy. You're doing a good job. Don't let me down. Anyways, guys, with that said, I'm sure you could tell by the thumbnail in today's video, we're speaking of monk mode and really how to start your monk mode journey now. So guys, with that said, I'm going to link up the last video I spoke on monk mode, my journey now coming up to around six months. And I kid you guys not, in the past week or so, I've had maybe three or four clients that have been curious or wanted to know exactly who really started embarking on their monk mode journey. So I figured, look, man, the whole world is changing right now, guys. A lot of individuals, men, we're craving more. We want the next step. We see beyond just this fleshy, carnal 3D world, hooking up, doing degenerate stuff. I don't know, always going to parties and just being promiscuous. We want to become godly, righteous men. We want to move towards purpose, virtue, create a family, legacy. And I believe this is the next phase moving forward for all of us men to conquer. So with that, let's talk about monk mode. So guys, first and foremost, what to expect and why does monk mode happen? Now guys, for those of you who are unaware, monk mode is simply a blanket term for really leveling up as a man in its purest, fastest form. Now I think everyone has their own definition, but from what I know, what it entails is semen retention, dopamine detox, and avoiding any and all stimulants, whether that's partying or women or hooking up or drinking, going to clubs. It's just, it's avoiding the temporary world, guys, to come into the internal world. It's building yourself up as a man, guys. So now that you guys know what monk mode is, let me explain why it happens. Guys, I wish I could tell you the exact reason on why it happens, but from how I view it and the clients I've spoken to, certain individuals at certain times in their life just get this call, this yearning, this call to adventure. Do you understand? And generally what happens is you break away from the normal world. Now I spoke about that in the last video, so I'm not gonna go too into depth, but a lot of times this can happen through a catastrophe. Maybe you break up with your girlfriend, you get fired from a job, or honestly, you're just at a point in your life where you know there's something more. You're done with the 3D facade, the matrix. You wanna build this internal kingdom within and connect with your highest purpose. So we know what it is, we know why it happens. Now let me explain some challenges or things that will come up on the road that you should be aware of. So guys, the biggest challenge that will happen on your journey of monk mode is giving up or leaving things of this world. Now it's really that simple guys. And what I mean by that is naturally you may notice by going into monk mode, really just building yourself, learning more on religion, spirituality, politics, your fitness, your business, improving your life. You may notice that you're beginning to lose friends or just things of this world, guys. This could even be, I'll be honest, your family members. People are beginning to look at you a little funny. And really guys, this is because like I said, you're just beginning to lose interest in the modern everyday world. Guys, when this begins to happen, because it's not something that like, oh, it might happen. It's like, no, 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 it's going to happen. The further you get along in your journey of monk mode, the lonelier it gets. And I don't want to say darker, but like, it, it does, man. It's like, think of it, this is a perfect example. You're at the beginning of a tunnel, right? And it's all bright outside. You think of like a well or whatever it is, and you're crawling, you're going deeper and deeper into the tunnel. The deeper you go, the less light there is. It gets darker and darker and darker. You have to keep going in this time. Yes, I'll be honest, guys, you may lose some old friends that you guys did degenerate things with of this world. Maybe some old activities. You used to smoke a lot or you used to drink every weekend with your buddies. It's just not interesting anymore. You're climbing into your purity, into your relationship with God, with yourself, your best version. But I'm telling you guys on the flip end of that, now talking of the pros, once you keep going deeper in the tunnel, I promise you eventually you begin to see a new light, but not everyone makes it here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think only around probably 20 to 30% of people who go on monk mode actually see it all the way through. 
A lot of people, guys, I'll be honest, right? This is a biblical quote. Many are called, but few are chosen. A lot of people, they enter the tunnel of monk mode, right? Where it's like, okay, it's not that bad. You go a week, two weeks, a month. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I can't do it. It's getting too dark. No thanks. What was I thinking? They go back to drinking, go back to partying, go back to the really just anything of this world. I'm telling you guys, stick it out. I've now been walking this tunnel for going on six months of full monk mode retention. No talking to women, partying, drug, nothing, like literally nothing. Just me lifting, getting closer with God, working on my business. And I can tell you guys now bringing this video full circle, the pros, what you will gain. If you make it far enough, you stick the path and you build the traits within, that light on the other end of the tunnel will be so fucking worth it, guys. Do you want to know what this is? What you lost on this end, you now gain triple on this end. And I'm not talking about necessarily things of the world. Sure, you'll gain more friends, more relationships, more money, success. I mean, guys, everything you lost here, it becomes tripled. It's kind of like it becomes upgraded, like in Skyrim or RuneScape or Elden Ring. You like give the guy your sword, the blacksmith your sword, right? You got to wait a little bit of time. He brings it back to you. Bro, the thing has like dragon scales on it now. It's, it attacks way harder, better defense. It can fucking, I don't know, fling things off it. It's way better, but you got to wait. But that's not even the best part. The best part, guys, are the traits that you have now built within the internal gifts. Now, in case you're thinking, David, what are you talking about? Internal gifts? I'm only familiar with gifts of the outside world, you know, more finance, more money, things we can we can see tangibly, right? I don't know. He's leaner, bigger muscles, and these are great guys, don't get me wrong, but the most important virtues you gain on monk mode, and it's the entire reason you get on monk mode in the first place, is building the kingdom within. What are some examples of this? Well, for my life, guys, this has been an increased connection to God. And what that means for myself and you guys is you no longer feel lonely. I don't have this void inside of me that I feel like I constantly need to fill with validation, with friends that aren't really my friends or just external things, women, sex. I mean, that's a massive thing too, guys. You overcome lust, right? I'm just listing my things. It'll probably be a little bit different for you. I feel complete, fulfilled. I've overcome lust. I'm serving God. I feel much more masculine and based, like a real man, not just a kind of pretend in between. I feel more peace in knowing what I'm doing, and I've never known my purpose on this earth more than ever before. Those are just a few things that come to the top of my head, guys, of internal traits. You see, no one could see this. By looking at me, you wouldn't know that, and that's the whole point. So guys, that is it. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Again, I explained what monk mode is, why you get called to go on monk mode, what it feels like, what will inevitably happen, the challenges. You are going to lose things of this world. Don't let this freak you out because I promise you guys, what you lose, you gain back triple. I, I really mean it. it. It comes back. But you have to go through that tunnel long enough to reach that side. A lot of people don't. They give up after a month or a month and a half and they're like, why am I losing things? Well, you're just on the one side of the coin. Wait till you get to the other side. I promise you it will come. It is coming. And once it does, you'll be glad you didn't stop. So guys, that is it. The sun is definitely beginning to get darker. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Guys, I'll finish it here with the final plugs. If you guys are interested and would like to work with me on a personal level at anything of what we talked about in today's video, improving your monk mode journey, having a mentor like myself to guide you along this path, or improving things like your fitness, business, mindset, and relationships, guys, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching. You know the flex. We have spots open. The step down beneath that, guys, is our workshop. Yes, come check our workshop of September, guys. You're watching this on Tuesday. We are going live this Sunday, guys. We have a few guys, but I still have a couple more spots open, so I would love to work with you. Group coaching is cheaper than one-on-one -on -one coaching and you work with me throughout the entire month for one hour calls plus a private Facebook group. Guys, we're going to speak about things like this times 10. It's 40% off. It's the cheapest it will ever be guys. And I could not recommend this more. Join September's workshop and I'll see you face to face. Finally, guys, our third and cheapest option is the course Passive Online. You guys know the flex over three hours long, completely transforming your lives as men. If you guys are on the fence, go download the free half an hour version below to get a teaser before getting the full one and I'll finish it there, guys. You can support Edge coupon code Hammond. Also, I now have a supplement sponsor, guys. It's called Gains Club. I don't have the supplements with me now. They're arriving tomorrow, but it just went live yesterday, I believe, guys. Right now, they have protein powders and pre-workouts. The founder, How to Beast, who is the founder of Edge, he also 
created a supplement brand. So I'm sponsored with that too, guys. You can use coupon code HAM and the link will be down below. They are the best supplements I've ever tried. You guys know I'm a power lifter. I'm literally gonna post this video and then go to the gym. My competition is uh, just over two months away. So those supplements will definitely be helping me, guys. And that's that. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. You are not alone on your monk mode journey. There are men like myself and others who have done it way longer. Follow these tips. Keep climbing through that tunnel. I understand temporarily things are breaking down. They're leaving you. It's not familiar, but I promise you it will come back times 10. And really the most important part of this are the internal traits because once you gain that internal trait, no man can take that. I really mean it. Men can take money, A, B, C, D. No man can take the kingdom within. So that's that, guys. Go join September's workshop so I can speak to you face-to-face. -face. It's never been cheaper. 40% off only this workshop. And I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Till then, much love. Peace.